Welcome back to Secret YouTube Strategies. What should we talk about today? I want to become a YouTube star. How do I get tons of views and subscribers? You've come to the right place. I'm going to give you some tips on how to get started in this video. But keep in mind, there's a lot of information and it won't all fit into a five minute video. So I'm going to give you the super duper condensed version to get started right away. Cool? Cool. What if I want more info? You can subscribe to this channel and watch as I create more videos with tons of great secret strategies to have an advantage and really take off. If you don't want to wait for the videos, I highly recommend looking at the links below this video for the secret viral video marketing report, which is full of the secrets that the big YouTubers don't want you to know. So check it out. Sounds great, but what can you tell me now? The first and most important thing that anyone who wants to get big on YouTube has to understand is that you can make the best video in the world, but if nobody knows it exists, it will never go viral. A lot of people think that if you just make a good enough video, they'll get famous. Wipe that idea from your brain. It'll just get in the way. There are tons of videos that went viral that really aren't that good and even more videos that are amazing that hardly anyone has seen. So in order to get big, you have to do things to get people to watch your videos. The key is in what you do to get them to notice your videos. Cool, I'm with you, so what do I do? Most people want views and subscribers. The reason to get subscribers is so when you post a new video, you'll already have a lot of people watching your channel, so you get views from them each time you post a new video. The main part of getting people to watch and subscribe to you is to find people who are already interested in what your videos are about and contacting them. Sounds like spam. I hate when people I don't know send me random crap. And so does everyone else. That's why it's important to understand what will come across as spam and what won't. I'm going to give you two examples of contacting people. Let's say you make videos about the best way to avoid a campfire without matches. You send your video to a 13-year-old girl who lives in the middle of the city and hates camping and only uses YouTube to watch videos of people making fun of pop songs. She's going to wonder why you are sending this weird camping video and probably tag it as spam. If you do this too much, your account will be disabled. Disabled? I don't want that. How do I keep it from happening? The secret viral video marketing report ebook I mentioned that's in the links below will give you info on how not to get your account cancelled. But basically, if you make videos on how to make a campfire, you want to be sure to send it to people who are watching videos about camping. Don't worry too much, it's unlikely your account will get disabled unless you do something really bad. And even then, you will get three warnings before your account is disabled. The great thing about YouTube is that you can do a search for camping videos, look at all the people who subscribe to those channels or left comments on those videos, and send the campfire video to them with a message about how you think they might find it helpful. And there's a good chance they'll write back to you and thank you and subscribe to your channel. Interesting. Go on. Let's look at a second example in which you're a musician who likes to make funny versions of pop songs. You want to be sure not to send that to some old guy who spends all of his time camping in the woods. But you can search for videos of people doing funny versions of pop songs and send your video to them. You already know they're interested in that type of thing, so they will probably enjoy what you're doing. Do you see the difference? Oh, I see. So by looking at the subscribers and the people who comment on similar videos to what I do, I can find people who will want to watch my videos. Precisely. That's why people are able to get famous on YouTube. They're able to find people who are interested in the type of videos they make and invite them to watch. So, what's the best way to contact people? How do I contact enough people to really take off? That's a great question and deserves its own video. So why don't we talk about that next time? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you know when more great tips are posted. And if you can't wait to get started, check out the Secret Viral Video Marketing Report link in the description below. But I will be telling you some very useful information on contacting people and how to do it efficiently in the next video. Sweet. So sweet.